Well, I am thrilled to be here and talking to all of you about a couple of my favorite subjects, and that is healthcare and entrepreneurship. So um, what I thought I would do, uh, cover today, is first of all, since uh, I understand that I'm probably the, the first person and the only person to talk about healthcare, is to give you an overview of, of uh, what that business about, is about and some of the entrepreneurial opportunities available there. And then we can talk about uh, a little bit about I'm a venture capitalist and, and what I would look for in a startup company if I were evaluating a startup company. Um, and then also um, talk a little bit about the characteristics of successful companies and maybe how you can characterize different types of companies uh, in thinking about an entrepreneurial idea in the healthcare business. And then the last thing we'll cover is I, I have some thoughts and uh, considerations that hopefully would be helpful to you in terms of thinking about a career path, whether it be in healthcare or entrepreneurship or both. So uh, that's what I'd like to cover. So let's start with um, healthcare. Um, healthcare. The healthcare industry is very big and it is growing dramatically. Uh, and as you can see here, it's 17.4% already of the whole gross domestic product in the United States. This is United States numbers only. Um, and it's uh, scheduled to grow to more than 20% of the GDP by the end of the decade. So it's very large. What does that mean in terms of uh, absolute dollars? Well, it's 2.7 trillion as of uh, last year, and it's gonna grow to 4.6 trillion by the end of the decade. Um, so very tremendous opportunities as well as growth. So why is that? What's going on here? Well, there's a couple. Of, there's a lot of reasons involved in it, but a couple of them um, are, are particularly important. And one is that the baby boomer generation, and, and that's actually my generation, the uh, group of people that were born after World War II to uh, sometime in the 60s, uh, is now reaching the age where we're old age and we're getting to Medicare uh, uh, type ages and uh, have health problems. And just a, a picture is worth a thousand words. Just to have some idea here, this. Uh, young man up here uh, is a young rocker from the 60s uh, with the Rolling Stones. You might recognize Keith Richards. That was in his better days in the 60s. And a picture's worth a thousand words. There's Keith Richards recently. <laughs> so what does that show it? Saying that you know this baby winner generation may be in need of some health care soon. Well, and there's another. <laughs> To get to yeah, he looks better than he would have had he not had that help. Exactly. So, um, and then there's another thing going on here, and it's what I call diabetes. A lot of people call diabetes, and that is the epidemic of obesity that you probably heard a lot about in the in the uh, media. And and right in conjunction with that, and related to that, is the epidemic of di uh, diabetes. And uh, so, uh, the picture worth a thousand words here is uh, our friend, the old Italian, uh, the David, in the Uffizi Museum. And uh, here is what happened to David when diabetes happened to him. <laughs> so, so that gives you some idea. There's two really big things, and among many other topics that are going on that are really causing this part of the industry to grow rapidly. So, how does it compare to other things? Well, uh, health, global health care, the numbers I gave you before with the United States. So, global health care uh, in 2010 was six trillion. And to give you some idea, the entire GDP of the country of China in that same year was less than that. All right. And if, if global health care were actually a country on its own, its GDP would be second only to the United States of America. So it's very large. And contrast that with the information technology. I know you hear a lot about that here at Berkeley. But, you know, that's a mere pittance of Germany. <laughs> compared to China, okay? So that gives you some idea, a very large uh, market, a very large part of the whole economy, the worldwide economy. So what's going on in healthcare in the future? Well, it costs a lot. The, the costs are going up much more rapidly than the gross domestic product right now. And um, so uh, suffice it to say that, uh, that that's going to be one of the topics of politicians and really a lot of you as you grow in your careers uh, of what's going on in business is how are we going to do something about this, uh, this difficulty.